Hey, good to see you again. Today, I have bought some new water cups and I was going to talk about that a little bit. So these are two shot glasses. Originally, they were both part of a pair and, um, but I used the system for a long time. I, oop, sorry about that. <laughs> Let me clean it up. Um, so I have the regular shot glass and it was part of a pair and then I lost one of them. And then I bought these beautiful little fluted shot glasses. And so it was a part of a, a pair as well. And when the water got too dirty, you could see how I just tipped it out into the bud face. Uh, so I didn't have to get up every time I got new water. Oh, those are my new glasses. They're bigger. So instead of using the spray bottle spraying it, you can see me <laughs> pouring it out. because it's a, it, it doesn't read that much bigger on the screen, but they're actually a whole lot bigger. Um, so this is a big move for me in terms of my water management system. I feel like water management is really important when you're painting in water media. If you just have like one tub of dirty water and you use it to activate your paints, or to add some more water to your paints to change the consistency of them. It makes everything murky. And as an illustrator, I love the bright, vibrant colors. So like I always activate my paints with a spray bottle. It's always clean. And I have the cup of the dirty water or the water that I just used to clean brushes with and the cup that I use for like thinning down paint if it's feeling too goopy. Um, I don't believe I'm actually going to show the cups that I bought in the rest of the video. I bought the new cups because I broke one. Uh, I let it sit on the, the edge of the sink and somebody didn't notice it and it broke. It got knocked into the sink. That's okay because I bought them from Oh, I can't remember the name of the, the charity, but a local charity shop. They were like 75 cents. It wasn't a disaster. All of the plates and cups and shot glasses, anything that could possibly used for food that you see me using is no longer used for food once at, it becomes an art supply. A lot of paints have uh, toxic ingredients. Uh, there's a paint called China White. It has lead in it. We all know what lead poisoning does to people. But there's other ones that, like the cadmiums and cobalts are also heavy, heavy metals and will build up in your system. And so uh, you don't want to put it pigments anywhere where you can ingest them. If you don't know what you're using, play it safe. Just make special art supply things. So I bought the two little juice mugs and I found that I really didn't have an issue with anything turning muddy and it was a whole lot less work than the little shot glasses that would get dirty very quickly and I was constantly cycling water into it. I, I came up with the solution of the little bud vase that I would pour the excess water into and these juice cups that I bought, I didn't empty out even once. I am clean sailing. I'm a good portion of the way through this painting. And my dirty water cup is still not that dirty. And my clean cup that I pulled to change the consistency of my paints is, is still crystal clear. I didn't even think to show you. So you're gonna see a couple jumps. One of them just happened there. I got super tired and I forgot to hit play a couple times when I switched colors. I didn't think they were a big enough deal to be a deal breaker in terms of the the painting. The other one's gonna be when I do the, the mustard jar. Yeah, the mustard jar bottle. 
<laughs> the mustard bottle. There we go. Uh, there's a little jump there too, but I didn't think it was too terrible. And I really enjoyed the, this painting and wanted to share the making of it with you. You'll see three different palettes on the edge of the painting. There are three different brands of gouache that I got locally. And um, each one of them has a different vibe going for them and I enjoy them all. This little mustard bottle, shout out to the brand. My dad, when I was a little girl, worked with French's. So this bottle is in the shape of the French's mustard bottle because I love you, Dad. <laughs> and it made me think of him. So I have a little series of animals preparing food. And I thought it would be hilarious to do this little penguin making that little fish that he caught somewhere looking like a hot dog with a hot dog bun and the hot, hot dog fixings over on the right hand side, the ketchup and the relish. I was going to originally label them, but I didn't because I thought the little... Uh, the little teeny mini micro illustration of the pickle and of when it gets there there will also be a little tomato that I thought was so cute and I didn't think that I needed to draw any more attention to that side of the painting it gets uh, a lot of attention due to the vibrancy of the colors that I chose to put there. Oop. There we go. Another bright little color. There's the illustration. Isn't he cute? I love him so much. I don't have that much more to go in this painting. Just the last little bit of the stuff on the shelf. And so I want to say thank you for coming back and seeing me at this channel if you enjoy how uh, these videos are hit, hit the like button I'd love it if you subscribed and comment tell me what other stuff you'd like to see in the future till next time bye